Hi, English Nomad here and uh, in today's episode, I believe this is 21, I'm going to be uh, assembling the uh, cabin of the Land Cruiser uh, camper. I've um, already started by preparing the floor, I've levelled it up um, so that I've got a nice level work surface to work from so that I can use my spirit level to get the panels plumb. Um, one thing that I did last night while I was preparing is you can probably just make out here these aluminium box sections which are now bonded to the floor. These are actually going to be the jacking points for lifting the camper on and off. So they're glued in place now and I've notched out the side panel I'm about to fit to uh, go round those lifting points. So when all this structure is fully bonded and glued, um, that should be a really, really strong um, lifting point to jack it on and off. But I will be um, adding some reinforcement around these points here, um, so that uh, so that there's uh, so that 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 um, particular area is very very strong and isn't likely to fail. Although there isn't going to be a huge amount of weight complete um, weight when this is finished and uh, fully fitted out and with water probably somewhere in the region of half a ton so each one of these points will need to be able to take around um, 125 150 uh, kilos of weight which um, once I've finished they'll be more than capable of doing that so uh, with that uh, with that I'll um, get straight into it so I'm going to use um, a worth product, just bear with me and I'll show you what I'm using to glue it up. So I'm using this product here, it's a, it's a bond and seal, um, it was supplied by the company who supplied the panels and um, it's what they use to, uh, to glue up um, caravans and um, trailers, um, RVs, that sort of thing. For this type of application, this is the products that I need. So I'm going to apply a, a bead of glue in this rebate here and then offer up this panel. And then as soon as I've got this panel in place, I'll need to put the front panel in and then I can get that panel, the side panel, leveled up and get the front panel leveled up and then hold them in place with some uh, duct tape while the glue cures and then I'll do the same with the other side and eventually work my way around until all of the panels have been, um, have been assembled so uh, with that I'll get straight into it Uh, with this particular product you have to work relatively quickly because it starts skinning up as soon as it comes into contact with the atmosphere it cures from humidity so moisture makes it cure quicker and it's quite a humid day so I need to work quite quickly you have uh, around 20 minutes to uh, work with it before, uh, before you have to make sure everything's locked in place Okay, so I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to put the silicone silicone sealer uh, glue adhesive.
So that's uh, that's level that way, level that way. So I'm just going to uh, hold the corners together here with some. some duct tape just to while the cure while the glue cures up day here in Perth so this glue is probably going to cure very quickly so while I go around now and tidy up all of the joints and go around and clean up um, the, the adhesive um, I'll, uh, I'll switch the video camera off and I'll uh, come back to you guys later hi uh, English Nomad back again. I've, um, as you can see, I've got three of the sides on, all glued up, and I've also got the lower part of the uh, rear panel um, on there now as well. So all I have to do now is fit the rear panel, which is just leaning up there out of the camera view. Um, my dog wants to help me with this part of the job, don't you, Bronson? Come on, bugger off. Come on, lie down. <laughs> what you want to play? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the um, the adhesive on on the rebates, get it ready to uh, install the final panel, and um, get it all taped up. And then um, I'll give you a bit of a tour round with the uh, with all the panels uh, in place, and you can have a look at the um, assembly. All right. So I'll get straight into it. What I've already uh, done is I've made this spreader bar up just to open it up a little bit so that it goes in a bit easier um, with it being the, the last panel so um, hopefully I should be able to get it in without too much trouble so uh, let's see
Hi, back again, English Nomad here. Um, just uh, give you an update with the uh, assembly of the uh, camper box. The, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. I refer to it as a cabin. Some people call them a cell. But anyway, the box that sits on the back of the tray of the Land Cruiser, that is the living accommodation. So uh, it's 24 hours later since my... Uh, um, since my video began and overnight the uh, adhesive has cured and I've been doing some um, some of the uh, trimming, find, uh, cleaning the excess glue off and um, removing all of the duct tape and all of the bits and pieces uh, to start the next phase of the project. So uh, with that said, let's have a look at the, uh, the camper and see what it looks like. So as you can see, it's now a finished box. I've installed one of the uh, windows uh, just because I wanted to see what it looks like. I'm quite impatient like that. Um, as you can see at the bottom there, I'll just uh, move in a little bit. That's the uh, jacking point. I talked about yesterday and the uh, corner angle there which is just held on with a bit of duct tape they're going to be on all of the edges um, all of the edges will have the um, aluminium angles glued to them I've um, already cut the ones for the rear and just uh, tape them in place I need to uh, Put a radius on the fiberglass because there's a radius on the inside of the uh, angle so it sits right really nice and flush so that's my job tomorrow is to do that and glue them so uh, yeah we'll just take a bit of a walk around and uh, you can see what it looks like all of the uh, panels went together really well and the Adhesive is uh, cured, so it's very solid now. This the box is very solid. Uh, you'll notice here. Um, excuse the sunlight in my uh, shot. I've started to fit the door frame, the um, Z channel here. That is the uh, material for the. Uh, door frame so that's all cut to size and dry installed I need to uh, glue that in I think I'm going to put some screws in as well into the into the side here <coughs> have a look inside You can see those um, aluminium extrusions that I've um, put in for the uh, sorry about that spin shot anyway so uh, that's uh, that's the progress to date. So when you see this next time, it will have all of the exterior aluminium trims fitted. The door frame will be completely fitted. I just want to show you this, just so you understand how these jacking points are going to work. I'll uh, just go down, take a bit of a closer look at this one here. So you can see. How that just pulls out so the jack the jacking legs will just slide into there and uh, it's going through the wall and it's gonna have as you can see on this side the corner angle is gonna be notched around it 
and then there's going to be a bracket goes round here which will be bonded to the side as well so the weight of the uh, the jacking like in here will be pushing up not only on the wall but also on all of the support angles and support structure around that Uh, one last thing I just want to show you. I'll just take you in the garage. Whew, it's very warm today. Here we have the door. This is the entrance door. So I've made up the uh, entrance door. I've fitted the uh, aluminium trim around the sides. This will then have a rubber seal on it. I need to fit the hinges and lock. I haven't decided on a lock yet. I need to work that out. So matters for resolution on my list of things to do is the problem I have is conventional home locks um, generally fit thicker doors. This door's only 22 mil thick. So finding a lock that's going to work on it, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get one from Bunnings. I'm going to have to look at specialist locksmiths to find a lock that'll work on uh, on this door because really I want to be able to just close the door and it latch with an handle um, and then a deadbolt on it so we'll see what I can find I'm sure there's specialist locks out there for applications like this um, the hinges are going to be the over over seal hinges like on um, on um, the back doors of trucks um, so uh, yeah that's what I'm going to fit for the hinges so it's coming on really well the progress I'm making is really good so uh, I'm very happy so yeah like this video share this video and um, please subscribe and if you do subscribe don't forget to click the little bell icon so that you get the notifications when I put new videos up and as always please comment below until next time, Mike, sign it off. Bye-bye.